saw Capitol Police at the State House in Madison Wednesday evening, but Trump supporters protesting in the morning were long gone. But when I was in my office, I'm on the ground floor, and I was able to see and hear a very small group of protesters, I don't know, maybe 30 people. Wisconsin State Senator Kelda Helen Royce says there were extra patrols there just in case. My staff were supposed to come in later today to sign some papers. We're all working remotely generally, um, but as things heated up in D.C., we made the decision that it was best for me to leave the Capitol, um, just given what was happening at other state capitals around the country and that they should not come in. Capitol Police officers are no strangers to large protests. Nearly 10 years ago during the 2011 Act 10 protests, tens of thousands of people were here in Madison and some of them stormed the Capitol. People angry about the end of collective bargaining rights for most state employees staged protests outside and inside the Capitol for days. The protests in Madison 10 years ago were peaceful. Right, full stop, not mostly. They were entirely peaceful uh, to the point where it's a dangerous uh, uh, to try and make a false equivalency. Going on to condemn the people they say caused the scene in D.C. I think Ron Johnson's responsible and should resign. I do think that Donald Trump should be immediately be removed from office before more people uh, get hurt, even if it is just two weeks. In Madison, Caroline Reinwald, WISN 12 News.